Hello guys and gals and whoops. Ah, that's good. Welcome back to more Majora's Mask. In the last episode we uh we raced the beavers, kicked their ass, and also we unlocked the temple. And we unlocked this big turtle. Oh not turtles. Oops, okay. Actually, look quick. Oh I got those. Oh my bad. What you want to do to go into the temple actually is to hook shot onto the turtle's back. I, it took me a long time to figure this out. I mean, he does tell you once, but I was like, what? An alien contact is alien. And we actually have a cutscene now, which is kind of, that temple looks like a fish. I, I never got that. Oh well, I never really should get it, I guess. Yeah, the first time you go into the temple, the, every, all the pirates are like, we can make it. We just go under the, tor we just go under the tornado thingy, right? And they're like, yeah, I guess. But then they get pwned. <laughs> They're all like, bye. It's kind of sad, though. Like, I don't know, they kind of deserve it. They're kind of not nice. But how do we get in, is my question. Because they're just kind of like, oh, turtle. That makes, maybe he goes underwater or something, I'm not sure. But regardless, we're here in Great Bay Temple. The big turtle. Conveniently a place for him to land. It's a big convenience here. And he's like, bye Toto, I love you, bye. And he will be here the whole time. If you want to leave the temple at any time, just uh climb back up on his back and he'll take you out. Oh you have some creepy eyes. Regardless, I'm going to record all this in one episode, but I'm gonna cut it up as per usual when it comes to these temples. Um, so yeah, um expect that. Let's see, do I have a DQ stick? I do not, don't think so. Alright, so for the first fairy, what you want to do is light all these four tings. It's kind of annoying with the virtual console controller, I'm not going to lie. Aw, missed it. Aw, yeah. First try. So cool. But everyone actually does not like this temple. Everyone hates this temple. They like I've heard people say it's worse than the water temple, which I don't think so in the slightest. I think it is probably, if not my favorite, one of my favorite temples of this place. Whoa, a huge water wheel! No way. Like, and as if you haven't already noticed, this is like the water temple of this game. But it's not that bad. It really isn't. Like I love this temple. It's so maybe because it's really straightforward. At least to me, but that's because I played this game over 9,000 times, I guess. But the whole point of this is you want to direct the water current a certain way. Like, that's the whole point of this temple. So I guess each water temple is like to move water, I guess. Because, I mean, in Ocarina of Time, you're moving water to certain levels, and in this one, you're moving water to, uh, um, what do you call it? Like, different levels. Wait, what, did I say that? Oh, I'm, I'm moving water like just in general like a certain way so I mean I like it a lot but that's just me plus the fairies in this place are really easy to get now thank you just oh it's Kotola gotcha really really no Aw, sad face yeah this um I would say this is probably one of our better rewards for the Great Fairies if you do them at all. Ah, oh, missed it. You're aww, sad fate. How do you do it? Oh, well that works. Gives us a fairy. We've already see we've already got three out of fifteen. That's amazing. I love how he dived into the lab. We was like <gasps> dead. That would hurt a lot if you dive into a freaking platform, like a solid platform. We got a lot of skulls here, jeez. But yeah, I do apologize for not uploading yesterday. Um, I don't know, I just could, didn't get around to it. Like, I really don't have any excuse considering, like, I was like, oh, whatever. It's too mainstream to record Majora's Mask. Nah, I'm just kidding. But, uh, up. um, I don't know, I just didn't, I didn't really feel like recording yesterday. And as you guys know, if you've ever met me before, hold on, hmm, I get it, the huge water wheel is powering up this thing. No way. But, um, if you know me at all, I would like to keep the um, the commentary good. I try to, at least. I don't know if it helps. I don't know. 
But um, that's my goal. Like, I want to keep the commentary decent. Oh, this this one gave me a lot of trouble. Just hit it with your arrow. No, hit it with your arrow. I think you're supposed to like go down there and get it yourself. I never wanted to do that. <laughs> Screw that. Serious? Seriously? Aw, oh, yeah. Alright. Good fairy. I'll not come to you. But anyways, um, I've always wanted to keep the commentary decent. I don't want to be like, Hey guys, um, so I'm doing this, and then this, and then this, and then the... Where are you? Come on. Alright. That's five already. We're, we're already a third of the way done, guys. That is amazing. Psh, several dungeons hard anyway. Um, yeah, I've always wanted. That's always been my goal. Um, if you know me at all, like on Skype or anything, you know that. But um, yeah, that's how I am. But alas, that does not mean episodes constantly every day. Cause pff, if I upload it every day, we don't want to be by now. But alas, it's not happening. Oh my god. Isn't there a way to like get this like hiddenly? Like, hold on. Do do do. So you can't get up here. So what you do is I don't know if you're supposed to do this. I usually do this. It's like abusing a glitch kind of, but screw it. Oh, are you serious? I hate you, freaking skeletal fish. But as you rise up, you notice it will link your rise up. So put on your mask and then hold to the ledge and grab it. I don't know what, how that works, but I ain't complaining. Faux show. How are you supposed? To? Oh no, well, six. How are you supposed to get to that regularly? I don't even know. I think you're supposed to wait until you are up there. I think. I'm not sure. But uh, screw that. We're too we're too cool for that. Too cool for school. We. And I believe this is actually the compass, not the map. I, I could be wrong though. And it is the map. Okay, good. We already know. Okay. Okay. I'll have a sneeze. Okay, <laughs> I'm back. I didn't want you guys to like hear that. Hold on, got another one. Okay, I'm done with that. <laughs> okay, where am I going? Alright, over there. Those hands, they will grab you. So just hold up, hold out your shield, and there you go. You'll kill them. Like we just want to grab you and and help you, but no, they are annoying. Diku Babas, we've seen these before. Just do that. <laughs> kill them all. You don't have to kill them, but I mean, it's, it's just a lot easier because they'll flip up. Like, they'll flip the lily pad thingy on you, so it's like, bleh, annoying. This is the only one that actually ever tricked me up. Oh, I didn't kill it right. Darn it. Kill it. What? Serious? <sighs> Gotta go kill you myself. Oh yeah, ninja. <laughs> that was kind of awesome. He was like, "I don't care. This chest is appearing. I'm ninjing behind here. Please, thanks." Yeah, very. No, but she one. Tell you, man, this dungeon is not as hard as people want to like lead on to believe. <laughs> That's always funny. Okay, so in this room, this you actually come back to this room a lot. Hey, buddy. I see what you're trying to do there, and I don't appreciate that at all. Again, what you want to do is you want to get your bow out, get really close to the edge, shoot it with an arrow, and then you put on your great fairy mask. Simple as pan. It's, like it's actually like two or three fairies we can get in here, and you can kill them, or you can at least detach them with your bow, which I actually prefer because um, you can just go down there and kill them with a shield or whatever. Wee! I think that's actually a small key more than anything, so. Oh, so you press shield and A. Okay, when your shield's out. Yeah, hey, Deku stick. I'll take it. Whatever. Die! That's so broken. But it's so awesome at the same time. And we get our first small key! Alright. Arrows. Magic I'll always take. And more Deku sticks. Legitimate. What's this? Magic. Alright, sweet. Making progress, making progress. And actually, the compass is like right there, so it's like, whoa. Get that like right after the map. Doink. Don't tell me I didn't do anything wrong. Thank you. Kill yourself, jeez. Like, okay. <laughs> 
And it's actually funny because he, had, like, I think Zora Link is actually the model for Adult Link. Like, if I'm OOT, I think. I'm not entirely positive on this one, but I'm pretty sure it is. Just because he does everything the exact same. We Except for that. that. That's just really cool. Go down, go down. Oh, no, 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 no. What the frick? <laughs> that was awesome. Anyways. Go over here. And we actually get our up to the um, ice arrows already, which is amazing. We Ow. Frick. I think, right? Yeah, this is the area. This actually tripped me up for a while because you actually had to climb this pipe up here. As I think it could be anything. Like uh, anything being Zora or Kid. No. Get away from me. Break. Stop. Thank you. Just move backwards, move backwards, backflip. Alright. Legit. Okay. Now I'm done with Zora. Because this place needs Kid Link. This kid like is cool as or like MO, but that's just me. Great. Why are you always hitting me? Alright. Don't need no magic. Alright, let's spin dash to get a couple like a heart maybe. Yes. And bombs. Bombs? Alright, I'm full on bomb. Even though you don't really need bombs for this area. Oh, wait, which boss is this? Is this the one okay, this is the I one, okay. Cause there's two bosses in this very similar. Two like similar bosses in this area. So I was confused. I was confused which one it was. This boss is fun though. I'm not sure what it's called. I know that you fight a boss very, very similar to this in the uh, Alien to the Past, but I can't remember what either of their names are. It's like the Eye Temple, the, uh, the Ice Temple boss. Basically, all you want to do is just get rid of all the eyes. You can spin dash if you want. I like I like doing that. Especially with the big sword and the big upgrade. This is probably the one of the places where the sword, the uh, spin dash upgrade definitely helps you. Because the more you hit it, um, the whole point of the boss is to hit it when the eyes open, obviously. With an arrow of some kind. Fire arrow, I think, is preferred. Because it does more damage, because it's elemental or whatever. You can actually use fire arrows to hit the eyes off of them, which is good. But if you want to do this fast, you take more damage doing this to the my way, but... Alas, I don't care. Rawr. Like three heart, and if you get like a three heart run, like I tend to do with this game, this is not the smartest thing to do. Like for sure, because <laughs> you're just like taking damage up to butt ho. Um, unless you're like really smart about it, like oh hey, I only have half a heart left. I should probably use milk, drink milk or something, because as you know, milk is like the smartest thing you could do with three heart runs because it gives you two drinks of five hearts and. I didn't do anything to him. Die. Open your eye again. Oh, serious? Oh, come on. Freaking die. I don't like you. They remind me of jelly. I hate jelly. I like jam better. Open your eye. Seriously. Oh. That was like a legitimate jock block. Okay. Or cock block, I guess you could say. That's a bad word. Open your eye. Yeah. And after a while, he will get off of it. The bubbles will just disconnect. Spin dash, I like. At this point, I just like to spin dash, because they're all off. It's going take one slash to kill. There's really no point to killing all of them, to be entirely honest, but... Um, basically, after he just kind of goes on a rampage. He'll open his eye every once in a while and just shoot him with, I think, four fire arrows is the thing. Whoa. You almost hit me with your exploding buddy. Not your buddy guy. Not your guy friend. You heard me. Okay. So, with this, we get the upgrade of the area, which is awesome, because it's actually one of the more useful ones. We get the ice arrows. And now you can freeze enemies and objects. Try it everywhere. Okay. So, we actually get the ice arrows, which are actually required in this game, which is funny because, like, I actually didn't get the ice arrows for the longest time in uh, OOT. I got them, um, like, only a couple years ago because I would always get stuck on, like, the fortress things. Like, the LP I did on my other channel, like, was, like, the very, f not the very first time, but, like, one of the first times I ever got the ice arrows in my playthroughs of this game, or OOT at least. But... Alas, they are very, very useless in uh, OOT. 
That is for sure. I mean, you don't have to get them, and to be honest, you don't really need to have a use for them at all, which is funny. And Freezy Octorok, which suddenly turns into a big ice block, which makes absolutely zero sense, but whatever. Oop. No, aw, oh, sad face. I was hoping to get that without doing anything. And here is one of the blocks we actually need to turn. One of the more important ones. To make sure you don't forget this if you're doing this, following me. Which is doubtful, because no one watches these. Lol, 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 lol. Alright, so. Now we need our mask back on and go back out, because I think the current is... No, the current isn't switched, but we need to go back out still. Oh. Something I want to bring up. I want to give a big, big thanks to PewDiePie for um, boxing me. Uh, you might know him. You probably do if you're from this channel. Um, or not, you know, not probably, but I noticed I have been getting a lot of subs and they're probably from this channel. So if you're watching this, please let PewDiePie know I said a big, big thanks because he didn't have to box me. It's that funny actually because my friend um, Seabass or Tsubas Tsubasahara, I think his name is. It's it's his name in Japanese. I'm not sure exactly how to pronounce it. I think it's Tsubasahara. That sounds pretty familiar. But um, I do want to thank both of them. They're both amazing people. I'll put both of their links in the description of all this, these videos. So, I mean, if you're from PewDiePie, go subscribe to Seabass, which is Tsubasahara. Um, they're just both amazing. So, yeah. Um, Again, I would like to thank them. But, like, legitimately, like, he didn't have to do it, and he did it anyway, which is amazing to me. Because it just shows that he is a generally nice person who... Like, it's just... It's funny how, like... Um... What would you call it? Like, not fame, but, like, YouTube fame would change people. And it's amazing, because, like, someone who you were friends with when they had 500 subscribers will suddenly not be your friend if they get a sudden boost like to up to like 30 or 40,000. It's just amazing how like they won't talk to you anymore cuz like, "Oh, I'm too cool for you." Like I'm not saying no like but like PewDiePie is one of those people that doesn't do that at all. And it's amazing because he doesn't do it. Like he's still friends with Seabass. He's still friend like he's still the same guy he was when he had four subscribers, you know. It's just amazing because like everybody changes with like YouTube's like I don't know. That's just me, though. But, enough of my rambling about how awesome PewDiePie is. Um, to get up to here, it's actually, I don't even know how you're supposed to do this, but I just do it jump slash. So, <laughs> I'm not even sure exactly. I think that's what you're supposed to do, because I've never seen any different ways, but. And we get our ninth fairy. Which is legit. Okay. So now we're done with that. Go out here. Ow. Brick. Okay, what do we have to do? We have to change the water current, right? Okay, so we have to go over here. Do to do. By the way, if you're really confused by what I'm doing right now, just follow what I'm doing, because I was kind of rambling just now, so I do apologize for that. And if you know this, herp a derp. Around. Oh, wait. No. Wait a second. I missed something. Red pipe. Where's the red pipe going? Down here. I guess why I switched it though. Sad face. Okay, let me try again. Which one is it? This one. Okay, so I have to move the water. Okay. Let's go through here again. Oh, I know what I did. Okay. I know exactly what I did. I always forget this part. This is probably the part everybody forgets and rages about. Okay, so do the thing. Okay, huh? but the difference is that door over there. You need to, you need to uh, move that door. So, get some ice arrows. Oh yeah, if you couldn't tell by what I've already demonstrated, you can actually make platforms with the water, which is really cool in my opinion. I, I loved that that little feature they added in. Okay, so we get this really weird choo-choo. Just make make him an ice block. He doesn't drop anything, but I think it's kind of funny how they added him in there, which I think is really cool because. It's like a cool little feature. It's like, you don't have a platform? Make one. Bomb chew. Get away from me. No, what? Link. I'm gonna climb on the freaking platform. Aw, oh, yeah. Invisibility frames. Aw, oh, yeah. Like a boss. Okay. So now that this is going. Okay, that's what I forgot. Definitely. That wasn't too bad. Just I remembered it instantly. 
Not like the freaking water temple. It's like, oh my god, where's that key at? Goes to search everywhere except for where actually the key is. <laughs> go this way? No. Okay. Oh, I don't have to go. Still. Oh, I can get the boss key too. Okay. So I'll do that. Go through here. Because actually you can get the boss key right after you get the ice arrow. It's just depending on when you go here. Which is when, this is when I go here. Dolphin jump! Aw, sad face. Up. Alright, the boss key's actually in here, so it's like all around the same area ish. Now, if you notice, it actually is um, still the first day. Because I went back in time, because I wanted to make sure to do this on the first day. Because there's actually a couple heart pieces you can get um, after this. There's actually like three. So I wanted to make sure to do that um, all in the aftermath, which would be cool. Lots of magic, holy crap. And the cool thing about I, I like about this temple is you actually have to use the fire and ice arrows pretty pretty evenly. Like, ice arrows more, obviously, but like you still have to use the fire arrows, which I think is really cool. Oh my god, he's back. You re really? You can't fight me on your own? I will get you. I'm gonna jump slash you. Oh yeah. This guy actually is kind of annoying because okay, he does this. Three heart run challenges. This is where usually people rage quit. At least I did the first time. And make sure you ice arrow it so it falls down. Because if you don't do that, he will grab you and do like two or three hearts. It's like the um morpha thing. Um. Uh, like he'll take you and like do like like punch you and like do like three hits of damage to you, or like three hearts ish. No, more like more, it's like one and a half, but it's still pretty dangerous. Did I did it? The frick? <laughs> I've never seen this before. That was weird. Yeah. You think you're tough? You think you're tough? You're just a freaking frog. You ain't, you ain't nothing. Oh yeah. Now actually, we're not done with you. We actually want to do something really fast. And that is, put on the very useless Danjiro's mask and talk to him. Oh, Danjiro, it's been so long. What has brought you all this way? Could it be you came all this way looking for me? Ah, you need not say a thing. Upon seeing that face, I understand. Is it true? But I heard it was still winter in the mountains. When spring comes, I should definitely go to the mountains. So, let us meet again. Okay, so, um, you're probably really confused on what just happened there. Well, um, the John Jiro's mask, the whole point is to assemble the frog choir. It's one piece of heart mask. It's kind of one of those things, it's like, it's one piece of heart and that's it. That's all you get the mask for. Which a couple of masks are that way. Ooh, boss key. But, um, okay. There are five frogs scattered throughout the world. Two of them being in the swamp, one in Collectown, one in the mountains, and one in here. I think. Maybe two in Collectown. I'm not sure exactly where they're. I, I know where they are. I just can't, can't think of it at the moment. But um, the whole point is to get those frogs assembled to assemble the frog choir. Um, it's really cool. Um, plus, there's more things I want to do in the mountains as well, like heart piece wise. So I want to get all that done in this cycle. So I'll probably just after this I'll probably just keep recording and just freaking do all that crap. Cause it requires some hookshot action, some scarecrow song action, and some um and some uh, magic bean action, which is uh always good. Okay, there we go. I knew I was missing something. Alright. Okay, and you can hookshot up here. Which is kind of funny because it's like convenient hookshot is convenient. Ow. Okay, so basically the whole point of this first half of the dungeon is to change the water, because once you get that one pipe, you have to get the other, because it's basically it creates a water stream like I've been jumping on this whole time to the boss door, essentially. So now I'm going to set a standstill, which means there's no water flow, which I kind of want to see how it's over there without any water flow, to be honest, because that'd be kind of cool. I mean, I'm sure it's there, because, I mean, why wouldn't it be? I don't know if they actually coded that in to have actually no water flow. <laughs> I kind of want to, I'm actually really interested to see that now, but oh well. We'll do it another time.
Maybe I can like glitch up there or something with like backwards bomb jumping or something. But as you see, now it's going the other way, which I mean to get up to there isn't ain't changed at all, you know. No. Oh, damn I missed it. Oh well. Wee Okay. Side hopping, back flipping, rolling back flipping. Okay. Alright, so now we had to explore the other two rooms of the temple. Which it's actually funny because we're actually really close to the end of the temple already. Which I think is really funny because everyone's like, Oh my god, this temple is so annoying and long and insert penis joke here. Wait, oh, I guess that makes sense. Regardless, um, only a couple more rooms and then we're done, really. So that's kind of funny. Alright, so now that they, see, I don't know if you see what the temple that actually is changed. So, let's see. Um, what room can we go into this first? This one. Ah, but no, no, no. The frick. <laughs> Why does it do that? Okay, so now where do we go here? No. God. Nah, I'm not, I'm not gonna say it. Oh, it's in here. Serious? Okay, now no more joking around. Ser. Wow. Okay, serious business going on in this episode. Whoa. I see what they did there. Oh my god. Oh my god. There's things everywhere. What the frick? Okay, so. Oh, hello. Platform. No, aw, oh, I missed it. Okay, well, this room is actually kind of cool. There's two fairies in here. Um, both are really hidden, actually. Um, these are probably the places you would actually miss a fairy if you were to miss any, which I tend to do that sometimes, so don't fret, really. Basically, what you want to do is you want to wait for the platform to get as close as possible to the roof, then freeze it with an ice arrow. And then it conveniently makes the platform right across. So, now that we have that done, there's a alcove, I guess, over there. Want to get your hook shot? Nope. Other way. Other side. Break it on through to the other side. No, I'm just kidding. I can't sing. What are you crazy? Okay, so. This is straight fairy number 11? 10, okay. Alright, let's see, I don't know. This is one of those temples I just kind of do by reflex. I don't exactly know where everything is. I just kind of do it just because I can, really. And the last straight fairy is really weird, location-wise. It's, like, confusing. Um, wait, where is it? Eh, I is lost, I think. Hold on. Give me a second. Oh, it's over there. And there's a, oh, cool, hookshot right to it. Yep. That's probably one of the more hidden fairies in the game. This one, definitely. And we get 11. Sweet. But the bad news is we have to start all the way over. No, 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 no. Stop it. Oh yeah. Yep. All right. So actually, now we want to put our fire arrows back on just so we can melt the ice again. Again, I like that feature a lot in this game because it's like, oh, cool, you know. Once you get something else, an, up an upgrade, the other upgrades are still useful. I mean, the DQ mask is still kind of useless, but I mean, you still use it in places, you know? Like, it's not, like, totally useless. Like, let's see, well, what's a good example of that? I would probably say... Hmm, let me think about that for a second. Hmm... Maybe, like, RPGs, like, ma certain magic, like, okay, say, like, in Final Fantasy, you get, like, Fire 2, and then you get Fire 3, and Fire 2 is totally useless, like, you never even use it again, ever, because it's, like, okay, the obvious, no! <sighs> wow. Oh, well, that sucks. <laughs> okay, I guess more time to talk, I guess. Um, the, like, the, you know, like, the fire magics, I guess you can say. Or, like... Mm, no, that's different. It's a, that's a different kind of thing. I don't know. I'll think of something, I'm sure. That was a bad example. I'm trying to think of other Zelda games that does that. Hmm. I could use the arrows example in that one, but, like, you really don't... The only time arrows are really even needed in Zelda at all is, like, in the end of the game. Like, you use fire arrows, like, 
three times in the game. Like, well, you use them a couple of times, but I mean, not, it's not anything that can be replaced with Din's fire, really. Oh, there we go. Alright, that's done and over with. Alright, this this room is kind of annoying, I will admit. But there are two fairies in here, both pretty easy. No. Okay. And I think that's all our fairies, actually, which is awesome. I break this barrel. No. Brick. No. What the f Serious? Thank you. And I have to roll into this barrel, which I don't think you can. You have to swim in. No, freak. Stop doing that! Wow. Epic fail is epic. Bam, there we go. Got it. Twelve. There's one more in this place. The only thing that's annoying about these rooms is to get the fairies you have to re like redo the room like a whole other time, which is annoying, but oh well. Okay. First off. Fire arrow. If only you can like equip fire arrow and ice arrow at the same time, that'd be really cool. I would like this game would be awesome. Frick. Get off of me, bruh. Come at me. Yeah. Now you can't say bro because saying come at me bro is racist, apparently, according to whatever that company does that. We. Okay. What the frick? Oh. <laughs> that was weird. Whoa, it's, uh... I think you actually have to do this, I think. But then I think, like, you don't have to replay the room again if you do it right. Which I tend to not to do it right, so. Whatever. Those bomb chews can mess you up if you don't do it right. Like, uh, like, say, like, you're running, like, trying to, like, go fast or something, and the bomb chew, like, hits you and you fly back. That's, like, the whole room for you. Let's see if I can shot these guys. Come on. No. Well, that works, I guess. <laughs> I don't know if that would do that in real life. Like, here, I'm gonna stab you and then bring you to me. And you have to be Zora to do this, which is kind of annoying, but... Now, mind you, there is a hole there. I've met, I've made that mistake multiple times. There is a hole there, so I have to hookshot it. And get the spare. Wee. Ow, frick. Serious. Okay, so now a fire of this. I think that's it for this room. So really, you don't. Have, you only have to use fire arrows for this part if you don't mess up. That is. So that's good to know. So don't mess up this jump because I had before, and I was like, because you have to like. Go to ice arrows, do that, then go to fire arrows and do that. It's just like, sigh. Quite the annoying. Whee. Go out here and then go straight into the other room. No. Wait. Where's the other room? There it is. And this is the last room of the dungeon, which I think I have all the fairies for. Let me see. I think there's two fairies in here. Let me check just to confirm. There's one in the waterway, which you don't need, like, Everyone forgets to think that you can pop the bull everyone like forgets that you can pop the balloons and just go get the fairies later with the great fairy mask. I think. I'm not sure. Like that's that's what I always do. There's one. Cause they'll come to you where, wherever you are if you're in the same room. So it's not like you're out of luck if you're like a certain distance away, so Alright, so get out our regular bow. And shoot this one. Aw, oh, yeah. And put on the great fairy mask, and that's it. That's all the fairies. I'll continue my journey. And we did it in less than 12 hours, too. Actually, we did it in, like, 11. Because... And that's all of them. Yes. Alright, sweet. I am happy that with this tempo went as fast as it did, to be entirely honest. I could probably do it in two parts if I wanted to. I'll probably do it in three, though. There we go. That's what I wanted. The whole goal of the dungeon is to get those two green ones. Whee. Okay, so the things you need for this boss are the Zora mask and the bow. That's really it. Alright, open. We're gonna go. We're gonna do it. We're gonna backflip. And take no damage falling down. Because that's how it works. I did it too early. But yeah. I love the bosses that do that. It's like you're gonna fall for like 20, like 20 seconds, but you're not gonna take any damage at all because it's not how it works. Because if you, that'd be kind of funny. It's like I have a half of a heart left, but I can do it. I can take on the boss. Falls, Des, dies, Des. 
Dez. Sounds like someone who's like, uh... Dez. I don't even know what kind of accent that is. And we have the gargantuan masked fish, Georg. He is an annoying boss, I will admit. He's very, very annoying. But what you want to do is lock onto him, hit him with an arrow, he'll get stunned, and then turn into a Zora, go down, and then use the uh, shield. Bam. Up, and hopefully you can dolphin dive up here because he will ram the platform and knock you back a lot. So usually what I do is I wait for him. No. Great. Oh, that was close. Alright. Um, I think six hits with the shield will kill him, I think. Uh, yeah. Run! Run to the center! Okay. I'm not gonna risk it anymore. I'm gonna wait till he hits it. Cause he will hit it. Like that, see? You can see his fin too, which helps. Oh, it's gonna turn nighttime soon. <laughs> Okay, so this third hit, well, uh, this is the, set, the end of the first phase, so it will be like, screw this, I'm gonna, bleh, bleh, I'm gonna puke out, sit, I'm gonna puke out, spawn of me, which is creepy in itself. All right. Okay, where is he? There you are. Come here. This boss isn't that hard, really. It's probably one of the easiest bosses in the game. Just because it's so, like, you avoid contact with them pretty much entirely if you know how to do it right. You shoot him with... Where is he? Oh, no. Get in the center. Can't risk it. Oh, God. Didn't expect you to do that, but whatever. Where'd you go? Where did you go? Where is he? Um, there he is. Oh, did I lose him again? I lost him again, didn't I? Yep. Oh, uh, there he is. Die. <laughs> Denied. Alright, cool. Oh, and that's it. Five hits. Okay, that's e really easy. As you see, I took one harder damage there just because I messed up. Wait, yeah, because I hit him. I got hit by him. So, I mean, that goes to show how easy this boss is. I mean, if you do get eaten by him, it takes like two hearts of damage, I think. So, it's not all that easy, but it's still pretty easy. <laughs> Alright, so let's collect our heart container. Yay! Maximum heart, 13, which is awesome. We only need... And we get this Georg remains. You have freed the innocent spirit that the Dark Mask had kept imprisoning within the body of evil Georg. Alright. So, that's three temples out of four done. The last temple, I think, is probably the more fun of them all. Um, I always found the third area just in general was a pain to me, just because the whole egg thing, but the fourth temple is also not that fun, but it's probably more fun than this one, I would say. Alright, let's see what this guy has to say. Hey, <laughs> listen! We want you to lend us your power. If you leave things as they are, something terrible will happen to this world. Surely you're the only ones who can stop it. That's what Tail was trying to tell us. Help. Uh, or... Friend. Friend. I get it. We have to help the last one. Well, that sounds pretty right. Then promise us this. You'll cooperate with us. And like, meh. Maybe. Whatever. So, we are finally done with this temple. And the turtle's like, I'm happy because I can sleep. Oh wow, and how I can continue resting in peace. I might be able to, I might I too must abide in the laws of ancient times and then merely watch from my deep slumber. But the evil that haunts this land has not completely vanished, Fury. I shall depart after enjoying Lulu's voice a bit longer. I think the gods can permit that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so now you know it's Lulu's gone. So let's go talk figure out what's going on with her. I think you can actually see the performance if you do stuff. Here, let me see. Is she up there? Oh. She is! She's singing! Let's make this turn into Mikau just to make sure. Oh. Mikau, you came back safely! That's good. I was surprised on my voice to turn that lonely island into a total. But that song you played for me, my mother used to sing it often, long ago. Those eggs were laid to remind me of that. 
That song was from when I was a very young child, so I had forgotten it. I've put you through some horrible experiences, Mikau. But I'm all better now. Jeez, Jared. Well, the concert, the town's concert is very soon. Let's restart a rehearsal. One, two, three. Wasn't that fun? Let's talk to her again. I guess being able to sing is a wonderful thing after all. <laughs> Darn Skippy. Let's see. Hey, Macau. That song I remember just sounds like the one we played at our jam session, doesn't it? Oh, uh, no it doesn't. Shh. I'm glad I got this new song done in time for the concert. You did great, Macau, and even without any practice. You really are a musical genius. No, not really. I just have... I just play like six notes, what? I'll fight about it. What's up, bro? Playing the drums. <laughs> and with that, we're all ready. I can't wait for the town's concert. He's playing on fish. How do you feel about that fish? Yeah, they don't seem very happy. Well, okay, guys, I'm going to call the video here because I think I've done everything I can do in at least the hall. Well, there's one more thing, but it's not really important. But it's just to light up these, like, candles, torches things. Basically, you just, uh, let's see. Oh, hello. Didn't know you were also watching, creepers. If you light that torch, I think there's another one. That torch, these light up. I mean, it, it creates a cool effect, but nothing all that important. But I'm going to end it off here. Thank you all very much for watching. This is Fear Rising signing off of Majora's Mask, and have a great day, everybody. I'll see you later.